Hi YouTube, this is Matt McIntosh and this video I'm going to look at showing you how to use some of the mapping tools within 3ds Max. So we're going to make use of the Unwrap UVW uh, modifier. We want to open the UV editor and it chucks up a window like this. If you click the little uh, dice box with the blue and white uh, checkers on it, it gets rid of the background which makes it easier to see what you're actually doing. So we've got Vertex, Edge, Polygon, which is very similar um, in the actual edit window. We've got the Element tool here, which allows you to actually select full sections, but don't confuse it between the external one and the one in the window. They have two separate buttons. Um, as you can see, that selects the entire element, which makes life a lot easier for selecting sections. Um, with this one, what I want to do is just map this one little section, as you can see, that's projected it. And I can say whether it's X, Y, or Z in order to um, you know, show which projection angle it's coming from. You click off of the projection and it will give you a uh, flat version of these polys. Now, if you were thinking of using some of the uh, help mapping tools, you could potentially kind of use this as a method to uh, flatten out your surfaces. However, if you've got two separate objects like I have here, what will happen is when you start using your pelt mapping, um, it will actually work because you've got a hole in your mesh. So if you've got a number of meshes that you want to connect together and get rid of these seams, then the easiest way to do that is the method that I'm going to show you in a second. I'm just moving these eyelash um, polyplanes out of the way. Okay, so I've got this big hole in the head, but Max gives you a number of tools in order to uh, help fix things. So at the moment, I'm just going to use a move tool. Um, actually, I'm going to use a freeform tool to shrink it down slightly. And what Max does is it actually identifies which edge um, you've got selected. So I'm getting down to a kind of rough estimation, but if I was to just select maybe one polygon, I'm going to use these stitch tools in a second but if i was to select maybe one polygon it actually indicates where the edges are that connect up but if i select another one you can see so i need to rotate this round so that it works a little bit better um, so i'm using that freeform tool because it allows you to scale and do everything but if i click on this uh, um, stitch to target what it'll do is it'll weld all those edges together for me and yeah, I've got some issues here, but I can just use the relax tool to bring that into line. So under tools, there is a relax feature. And if you start the relax and it's not quite working right, just go through some of the other options and that might fix it. It might not, but have a play around with those features. And then when you're happy with that, job's done. It's, it's in there and it's working. Now, there are a number of other tools that are going to be useful within this package and maybe you don't want to use the stitching maybe you want to use the target weld and you can weld all those points together um, I wouldn't recommend it the stitching works perfectly fine you might want to break sections off like this um, I'm just going to control Z that because I don't need to break that bit off um, but we've also got access to other relaxing tools within this uh, window if I just pull these features over here and click on the relax custom tool you can see that it's actually kind of evening things out. We can straighten edges. So if I was to select these um, edges down here at the bottom of the head, um, what I want to do is actually just put them in a line. And as you can see, if I click on this button, it lines them all up for me. And then I could use the move vertical to actually bring it into place. Like so. And maybe I could then use the relax tools again to even out some of that geometry in the middle if I wanted to, uh, so that I don't end up with texture streaking. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's got it's got a lot of powerful tools in it as the UV window, uh, and I would recommend having a play around with them. Um, another feature is soft selection. So if you were to increase your radius of the soft selection, what it means is you can select one point pull it around the scene and you should see distortion of the other points around it which can be useful for actually uh, smoothly trying to transition uh, a point into a different place. 
So for this sort of thing, I might use the um, relax tools again to try and even out this area so it's not as stretched. And yeah, I mean, have a play with each of the buttons and see what it does. But if it's not giving you the result you're expecting, then just try something else. Um, what you can also do is use the rotate features to actually uh, tidy stuff up. Maybe you want it to fit inside the one to zero square. Um, you can do that quite easily and you can use the um, padding um, packing feature, which if you click on rescale rotate, it will try to fit everything inside the one to zero uh, square that you've got selected and it will rescale if you need it to. Um, I'm just going to control Z that and I want to show you uh, a couple of other tools. So we've got these uh, edge selection tools down here. So if I was to select uh, one of these edges and I click on select ring, um, it will select the entire set of edges if you've got decent quads going through it. If you've not, if you've got a triangle uh, where it splits off like this and it doesn't know which direction to go, it will stop at that point. So you need to make sure that if you're going to use these tools, that you keep it nice and quadded and then you'll get a full line. Um, another cool feature that you might want to use, and this, this could be good for you know doing environments and stuff, is actually using um, the even spacing. So it won't work with like a bunch of them selected, it'll do weird things like this. But if you select a specific line, you can actually um, just tidy that area up so that it evenly spaces them along that specific line which yeah can make your uh, make your life a lot easier especially if you're doing environments and things so yeah there's a few tools there for you to make use of um, hopefully that's been useful um, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making please like and subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for future updates thanks for watching